Growing up, my mother often said, what you mean we, white man? Which I took as simply another one of her many embarrassing quirks. But in the last five years, that phrase, those words, it's been like a bloodhound hot on my trail. I can't shake it. It haunts me, taking on new life, new meaning, challenging me to think about my identity. See, my family history is unusual, mm, strange, unique. My father was my grandmother's younger lover and drug dealer who offered to marry my mom so he could have a 15-year-old live-in cleaner, occasional sex toy, and punching bag when he was drunk. The matriarchy betrays itself to the patriarchy in exchange for convenience and cheap thrills, leading to the tired cycle of men abusing women. The oppressor's existence hinges on that of the oppressed. But as if that weren't enough, I am descended from a long line of Native Americans on my mother's side and English pirates on my father's. White European men who came to our land uninvited have made my mother wish she were dead so often that she has unsuccessfully attempted suicide more than anyone else I have ever met. So either she's ridiculously lucky or she just can't do anything right. Guess it all depends on how you look at it. And though I never really met my father, he was shot, went from dad to dead before I was one. His blood courses through my veins. And maybe that helps explain the origins of the hate I faithfully held from my mother for so long. And I can never escape that, no matter how many oceans I cross. Because I am both the colonizer and the colonized, wrapped up in a package the color of confusion, a false recognition followed quickly by disappointment drifting in and out of disparate scenes of a live TV taping that the actors weren't warned about, never knowing where my place is, causing an unidentifiable unease by my mere existence. I am a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy that somebody forgot, like a lukewarm wave of deja vu lapping at my own feet, vaguely familiar but impossible to put a finger on. Simply self-identifying as Chris has never been enough for things to click into place, for me or anyone else. So when white people say we when talking about me, in some ways they're right, but I can't stop from thinking, what you mean we, white man? <laughs>